Okay, I've done a few videos on selenium rectifiers, and uh, I'll put a link down below, a couple videos on those. Um, and you called them rectifiers because they were in the uh, power supply, and you were rectifying using a diode function, right? But were there selenium diodes? Were there actual things called selenium diodes? Well, looky here. <laughs> I, found, I found a couple super cheap on eBay. Uh, some guy had some new old stock. <laughs> yeah, that's a real old stock. Oh my goodness, stock number D5 and stock number D6. So these were used in color TVs, I believe. And if your color TV went bad, maybe you needed to replace your selenium dual diode. Dual diode, too. Do you see the little... So these have the, have the uh, diodes pointed that direction. And this one has them pointing both out. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. Uh, let's see. What is this one? That is, uh, see, there's a whole bunch of cross-references here. So this was uh, IRC. International Rectifier Company or something like that. I think that's what it was. So yeah, uh, Emerson, Magnavox. So these are TV things, right? Silver, silver tone, Zenith. Yeah, where the quality goes in before the name falls off. Um, connections. And uh, this one is a the glare off of it. GE Motorola Packard Bell and an RCA. How about that? Cool, cool stuff. So I say... And it's in this interesting package, too. It's a uh, cardboard back. Oh, there's little teeny pin perks in here. So it was vacuum, vacuum formed. And, and uh, so the uh, diode is in the back, and it's in a little cutout. There's like a little square cutout in the cardboard. And then the little rectifier can poke out the back. But the leads... The leads are sucked down with the uh, with the plastic here. So let's see if we can't get one of these out. Oh, look at that. Ah, okay. Okay, we can pull that one out. Save the packaging. Let me put it back together. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Okay, this one says IRC D5. It's a green. And IRC6. It's red. Cool. So, let's get a diode tester. <laughs> see if it see what it thinks about these things. Back up a bit here. All right. Let's put in the uh, put in the unknown part here and push the button. Well, it says it's two diodes, forward voltage of two and a half volts, and a forward voltage of 3.23 volts. Ooh, that's pretty wild. All right, so somewhere around three volts. Two and a, two and a half to three and a half volts. Let's see what this one says. Yeah, 3.14 and 3.24. There you go. So it will test on a modern tester. And uh, I say we put them on the curve tracer, though, because I got one. Might be interesting. See if they look any different than they are before. I want to clean up these leads, though. I use a couple things for cleaning up old leads. I use this... Um, God, what's this stuff called? Uh, I think it's made by it's made by 3M. It's a it's an abrasive. This is a medium medium abrasive. You can get the green ones that you wash your dishes with, but these actually have abrasives uh, put into the into the pad. But, but you can use the green one if you want. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Yeah, let's hook it up and see what it does. All right, so we're set up for uh, one milliamp per division vertically and one volt per division horizontally. So one volt, oh, it's always starting to turn on. One volt, 
At one milliamp, it is right about one and 1.6 volts. At two milliamps, it's uh, two volts. And it gets up to three volts at uh, five and a half milliamps. Yeah, look at that. Pretty cool. Now, what did the diode checker say? Three point something? So it's checking them at about one, two, three point something or other. It's checking them at about half of a milliamp, something like that. So yeah, that's what that one is. Let's uh, let's see. This one has the little things that. Okay, let's. That's one diode. Let's move it over to the second diode. See if it looks kind of the same. Well, that's a little bit different. A little bit farther out. So a little bit different. A little bit different. Okay, that was the uh, D5, the D5 diode. Let's look at the D6 diode, the red one. Uh, this one has the pinout. Okay, start in the middle. Anode is in the middle. And then the two cathodes are on either side. All right, so this, oh, look at that one. Oh, wow. It's got a real weak knee. All right, so one, two, three. Ugh. Wow, this one's really, that one's really ugly. Let's check this one over here. Yeah, these they're, they're, they but both have different, very different uh, characteristics. So, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure what tell what milliamps televisions were using. I think these were in the um, doing something with the phase of the color burst signal, if I remember right. So it was interesting the way that they show the pinout, it says leads up instead of bottom. Today a data sheet would say bottom view. But this one says leads up. Okay, so you have to put the leads up. And then there's a little notch on the side. And if you look down, let's see the notch is over there. So you would line it up like this. So okay, leads up with a little thing down there. And the same thing over here, it says, it says leads up with a little notch over there, and uh, anode cathode, anode cathode. So there you go. Let's see, is there a date on these? 84? 80, or 6114, I believe that one, 1961. Yeah, the date codes are encoded differently. This one's six. This one says six six one one four. So it's probably the fourteenth week of nineteen sixty one. And this one kind of has a eight on it. Forty eight. This is probably sixty nineteen sixty one. This might be nineteen sixty eight or fifty eight. Maybe fifty eight. Fifty eight and sixty one. Maybe fifty eight and sixty one. Wow. Interesting. Not sure what kind of potting material they used. Looks pretty weird. Anyway, there you go. Chip of the day. Chip of the day are selenium dual diodes. Uh, probably won't see that very often.